Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're going to do a Let's Play and Initial Impressions Review for Fishing Adventure VR, a game released on the Steam Store January 7th, 2022 for the Valve Index, Oculus Rift, and Windows Mixed Reality. Funnily enough, it doesn't mention HTC Vive report, uh, support. Um, that's very odd. Um, this game normally retails for 12 bucks. It's on a release sale, 40% off. And if you have Ultimate Fishing Simulator VR, uh, it's like less than five bucks. So it is budget priced, but is it worth it? Um, one thing you'll notice is that I do have everything on high. Uh, as far as sound, I did turn off the music because it was, I'm afraid of getting a copyright strike and it was annoying as well. And I did change to the imperial versus you know the metric so uh those are the only options available i wish there were more options available but at least there's graphical settings available a lot of games don't even have that so uh let's go ahead and start now i played a little bit over an hour now and funnily enough i found out that only about 50 percent of players have the achievement for catching a fish which blew my mind because that's very easy to do and also i believe i caught was it a hundred kilogram of fish uh i think it was a hundred kilograms uh and like less than f about 40 percent of players have that so again <laughs> not very good now there are different locations uh eight i mean not eight seven different locations uh but only poland is available at the start and I have Germany available. Let's click on Germany. But I don't have enough money. You need 2000 to get the license for Germany. So I have Germany. So we can only do Poland. Let's click on Poland. This is a starter one. Now you can change the time of day. Dusk, sunset, or noon. Let's, let's go sunset. And I think I think you just get lucky with, with the... Okay. Yeah, I think you just get lucky with the weather. So let's just make it a sunny day. Well, now it says rainy. Okay, let's just go. I don't care if it's rainy or sunny. Okay, let's go enter. And uh, my initial impressions of this game uh, were that the visuals are not very good. Uh, honestly, this looks like a quest port. Uh, but funny, funny enough, uh, one of the better fishing games is actually uh, on the quest I believe it's called uh, or at least on the rift it's called real VR fishing it's one of the best fishing games I've ever played um, along with you know catch and release and ulti ultimate fishing simulator for for uh, PC seems to be like as far as you know graphics prop maybe I don't know maybe it just depends on what what you like as far as arc style I'm still leaning towards the real VR fishing just because it may be not be technically the best graphics, but the way they did it, the art style is so, so immersive. Uh, also like Catch and Release. Catch and Release is probably the best game as far as total package with everything. Uh, I like Ultimate Fishing Simulator, but for me, that game uh, is just a little too clunky. Like you can tell it's a VR port. And... Unfortunately, with this game, it's even clunkier, and it's got very poor visuals. Uh, I would have preferred the sunny, but as you can see, it's raining. It, it's not very good rain. Uh, but you'll see here, just low polygon, low texture, low resolution. It, 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 you can move around, okay? So you do have full locomotion, snap turning. Now, if you go too far, you get reset back. So let's go, try to go the opposite of where we should go. So you see, we just get back. So you should you should try to get a lifetime license. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have five thousand, so I can't buy a lifetime license. I have to pay a hundred time, hundred bucks each time for a one time license. Um, and but you can see one of the clunky mechanics is how your fishing rod is just floating in the air, following you. And I did have an issue where this was just like behind me and I couldn't find it. And I left and I was like, what's where is my fishing rod? And just by chance, it was a sunny day and I noticed 
the shadow behind me. It was behind my back, stuck to my back. I just wasn't seeing it. So just beware. If it goes missing, it's probably behind you. So make sure it's not behind in your back. So let's pay the one-time license fee. Let's get in the boat. And uh, this is the mechanic for moving the boat. Now, I'm not the best at rowing. And I'm going to give the game a break here because you might think, oh, wow, this is a very clunky mechanic. I'm on a chair, and unfortunately, my, my hands, I'm sitting down on a, like a gaming chair almost. And it makes it hard for me to row just because my hands clash against the, the, the support. But it doesn't matter. I don't need to really go that far. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, so this is good enough. And one thing I noticed is that you want to get, you want to move like to the edge of the boat. And the reason for that is because you want to, uh, should we, now let's, let's cast on this side. Uh, you want to be able to easily release the fish into the water. So you have two choices once you, let's, let's go ahead and catch, catch a fish. So, as you can see, the mechanic of throwing the reel, <laughs> it doesn't look very good. It's a clunky mechanic. I mean, it's not difficult. And one of the things about this game is that it's very easy to catch fish. So, you see, I already caught one. It was really quick. Now, a lot of that's going to depend. So, this is a pretty good catch, actually. Uh, it's uh, four pounds. And I get 130 experience if I don't do anything, but I need the money, so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually catch it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's do that again. Uh, actually, before I do that, and again, let's not lose our fishing rod. Here is the mechanic for actually viewing what you have. So I have shrimp, I have this uh, reel, and I have this hook. So basically, you can equip them here. And you can go to the store to upgrade them. Now, I'm not going to do any of that because uh, really the only thing that matters is your bait. So you can see there. I'm going to stick to the, the bait that I have. I have still have 19 uh, shrimp. or it's, it's actually not shrimp. It's caddisfly larva. Okay, it looks like shrimp though. And I'm going to save my money to unlock Germany. <laughs> Because that's what I really want, more than anything else. So, once you see you see the little bob, there's two little visual indicators. One is the actual uh, fishing bob over there. And you can see it. And once it goes down, you can just snap up, and then you just reel it in. And that's easy. But you, you can also look at the visual indicator, and it'll tell you. Plus, you also get, like, a pop-up notice. Uh, okay, uh... This one's smaller, not as good as a roach. Okay, and you can see the fish model. Um, I mean, it's okay. It's not the best fish model I've ever seen, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, so it goes in. I might throw the next one back just to show you all, you know, because right now I'm like uh, putting them all in the boat to sell, but uh, I'll release one if it's like a really small one. To show you guys that you can release it in the water. Um, there's some ambient sounds. You hear like birds chirping. But the thing that really takes me back is just, again, this was on high graphical settings. This is, there you go. You see, very simple. Now, there are some mechanics here that you'll see here. But I think because we're in the starting area, that's not really come into play yet. So as far as the gameplay, I'm going to give this game a break. Uh, 46, yes, we want that. Because, obviously, uh, we're in the starting area, so they probably make it easier, but later on, you're going to have to press the A or X button, uh, you know, and not reel it in too fast or whatever, or reel it in, fast, reel it in faster. Uh, but you'll see here, I mean, kind of the little Polish town looks nice about that, but that's the only looking nice-looking part. And it's kind of flat, though, so... You can tell it almost looks like a painting, and that looks nice. But everything else in the foreground just looks horrible. For real bad textures. 
you know, for the foliage, for the grass, for the trees, uh, even the mountains there. They look like they're paper cutouts. It's hard to overlook those graphics because these graphics are just so dated. This does not look like a 2022 VR game. It, it, this looks like a 2016 VR game. That's how that's how bad it looks. Um, on the other hand, I'm getting steady 90 frames per second. You know, no issues with performance whatsoever. <laughs> I would not expect this to have any problems running. But again, the it looks like they're trying to sell this for the Oculus. Now I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. I'll throw one eventually. Eventually I'll catch a runt. And that's when I'll uh, throw it back in the water. But yeah, I'm not sure this is worse. Even if you can get it for a little less than 5 bucks. If you have Ultimate Fishing Simulator VR as a bundle. Just because... It's by the way, it's a Steam bundle. What I'm talking about. If you look at the store page, you can buy the game, but if you look closer, it's, it's also sold in some Steam bundles. And if you already own Ultimate Fishing Simulator, then okay, this one it's oh, oops. I don't get that much money. I'm gonna release this one back. So you're gonna go back in the water, buddy. There we go. That was it. <laughs> So that's basically the game. Unfortunately, I would have to fish for a very long time to get those five thousand dollars. Let's let's go ahead and look. As you can see, I've caught a lot of fish. I don't know how many, five, six already, maybe. <laughs> it's gonna take a long time to get to five thousand, um, especially since we're only getting about you know thirty, forty now. You can upgrade the bait, and that'll help you catch bigger fish that cost more money. That's basically the thing about this game. You kind of have to weigh, is it worth it to buy upgrades to get bigger fish, to get more money? And that's kind of the gameplay loop. Okay, $42. You're coming in here. This is what? A barbell. Okay. A barbell. I think the scales are off. You know, that's supposed to be like a... Uh, these are all like two to four pound fish and they look kind of small, even for a two to four pound fish. They don't look like two to four pound, pound fish to me. They look more like, I don't know, half a pound maybe. They're pretty small. So, yeah, my initial impressions, not very good for this game. And I'm afraid I just couldn't recommend it in the state that it's in. Uh, they would really have to improve the visuals here because, you know, maybe this game does get better once you get off the starting area of Poland. But uh, it's not just the poor visuals. And like I said, I don't know how more, much more complex this game gets with the other areas are more difficult to catch fish. Uh, 37 or 64... A roach. Uh, 37 is not really a lot. I'm going to let this one go. I probably shouldn't have done that. I really need the money. I really need the money. <laughs> uh, but the poor visuals are so difficult to ignore. I mean, it's really, really bad. Like, quest games look better than this. You know, this looks like a Gear VR port. Uh-oh, I think I missed the fish. Yeah, I was talking too much. I didn't notice it go down. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to wait a little longer now. Yeah, I mean, this mobile VR, maybe. This Yeah, this is like a... Y'all remember the the original? Uh, what, what was it called? The Oculus Go? Yeah, that's, this is the kind of... This is the quality for the Oculus Go. Not even for the Oculus Quest. The Oculus Quest looks better than this. Okay, I need the money. So, if I have to rate this, um, like I said, I mean, I play, there's lots of fishing games in VR. In my mind, the best one is Catch and Release, uh, but real VR fishing is pretty close. Again, not to be confused with real fishing VR, which is on the Steam store. That's not a good game. 
Uh, but even... Well, I haven't played real fishing VR, so I can't really say you know how bad that one is. I have played real VR fishing on the Oculus Quest, or, or at least on the Oculus Rift, or the Oculus Quest, the Oculus Rift version. Although I think I also played it on the Oculus Quest standalone, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Catch and Release, which is again one of my favorite, probably my favorite, and. Ultimate Fishing Simulator, which, again, looks really good. You know, it's kind of clunky because, you know, it's teleport, and then it's got, like, a menu system that's kind of not very intuitive. But uh, it's got a good gameplay loop. Um, you know, very gamified gameplay loop. But this is probably the worst fishing game I have played in VR. Again, I haven't played real fishing VR, <laughs> which, again, not to be confused with real VR fishing, <laughs> which is a good one. Uh, so I can't say this is the worst game, but it's the worst one that I, I have played. And yeah, I can't recommend this. I would say buy one of the other fishing games that's a lot better than this one. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. This has been my Let's Play and Initial Impressions Review. I would have loved to show you uh, play in Germany and maybe actually before I stop playing, let me show you because I don't think I've done a good job of showing you the gameplay because there's more to this than I'm what I'm doing. This, But again, this is a starting area, so you don't really need to do the other stuff. But you'll notice here there's a X and an A and that's for pulling it in or letting go. So I imagine once it gets more difficult, that's going to be something that you're going to need to do. Uh, more in the later stages but right now it's just not very difficult to catch these fish but again it's a starting area and that would be why so let me try to show you how that works and let's see come on <laughs> now that I'm trying to show this okay there it is see see there's the fish you see these little markers here it, but, it, you know, it, it doesn't matter here because you know, I don't even have to look at them because, again, these are all tiny fish. You know, this is, now this is a very small fish. This might be accurate. 0.37 pounds. Yeah, this, this is accurate here. <laughs> okay. Anyways, this is my Let's Play Initial Impressions Review. Um, yeah, I don't recommend this. I'm Fast Lawyer. If you enjoyed my video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.